Hello and welcome to BioCode. Hope you are doing well. The agenda for lecture is uh, using the PDB EPISA uh, tool to evaluate the protein protein docking complex and the protein ligand docking complex. In our previous lectures, we have done the protein ligand docking and the protein protein docking using the molecular operating environment software. You can refer to those lectures on the BioCode platform. And if you have any question related to the docking lectures, you can post your queries. We will respond as soon as uh, possible. So now we get the results from the uh, softwares and servers uh, regarding the uh, docking that we do. And uh, that servers and softwares provide us a number of complexes. For example, 10 to 100 complexes have been provided. So out of these uh, 10, how do we know which of the complex is better? Which of the complex is best? And different servers and different softwares uh, provide different scoring functions but as I, but as I told you in our previous lectures uh, that uh, we do not rely on the scores alone because the score does not represent the, the, the interaction in real time between the ligand and the receptor so to check the interaction in real time between the ligand and the receptor we use the PDB visa uh, tool here there are other tools as well, but uh, for now, uh, we will focus on the uh, PDB EPISA. The link to the PDB EPISA will be provided in the transcription. You can as access it. It is open access and freely available to everyone. So clicking on the PISA tutorial will take you to this file. This is the uh, PDB EPISA uh, tutorial. In these 15 pages, you can uh, learn uh, whatever is in uh, this uh, PDB visa, how does it do it and how do and what algorithms, what functions etc. it uses. This file will be provided in the transcription as well. Now let's uh, get started with the PDB visa. So when we click on this uh, file, it will take you, uh, it will open the PDB visa. So here click on launch PDB visa. When you click on launch PDB EPISA, it gives you uh, two options. Either you provide the uh, PDB ID. If you have the PDB ID, then you put the PDB ID and uh, let all of the analysis done by the uh, PDB EPISA. Leave all the parameters by default and uh, click on the interfaces. Or if uh, you are providing the uh, file from your uh, system, then you have to click on the coordinate file. Just in this case, I will be providing the uh, file from my system, so I will uh, choose uh, the coordinate file and upload my uh, files. Okay, so first of all, we will be doing the TLR2 vaccine. That is the protein protein uh, docking complex. So we will click on that and load it to the PDB EPISA. So here you can see it is selected and now click on upload. So now here you can see it says that the coordinate file, this the submission form structure analysis, the PLR2 vaccine dot PDB is uploaded. Make sure that your the file that you provide is in PDB format because it does not accept any other format. Here you can see the analysis shows that uh, we have only one chain that we have uploaded but actually these are two chains. One chain is the toll like receptor 2 and the other chain is the vaccine but it shows us uh, one amino acid chain. That is the problem that we need to fix before we continue. So most of the servers uh, provide the results when they provide the result they provide it as one chain. So we have to separate the chains manually. So let's go to the file this is the tlr2 and open it in the notepad notepad plus plus okay so we will take that to notepad plus this is how the pdb file look like now look at this uh, top uh, header from these columns this shows the helix helix and this shows the sheets and then here goes the atom about this line we do not need to worry about that uh, for now because that is not related to this lecture so we will get down to the atom from here starts our like uh, our uh, sorry our structure here it shows the atom these are the atoms this is the atom number 
and this is the element number for example n per hydrogen o per oxygen c per carbon etc and this is serine and this represents the residues for example this shows these elements are in this uh, residue the serine residue this shows the chain this means that this is a chain and this shows the um, residue number and this shows the x y z coordinate this is the x coordinate this is the y coordinate and this is the z coordinate and we do not need to worry about the rest of it okay so now let's scroll down as we know that there are uh, two chains the one chain is a and the second should be b so we need to remember the length of the uh, both the receptor and the ligand because that will matter here so now let's scroll down where the first chain ends so now here you can see this terminate this tr shows that the first chain terminates here and the first chain have 319 amino acids here you can see the chain number the amino acid so here starts the problem the following the, the 319 amino acid is the vaccine that is actually our ligand protein and the line that starts from here this represents our receptor protein but if you see this is chain a and this is chain a as well so that's why the pdb apisa is considering as all one chain but this is not one chain actually so what we will do is that click on shift and alt we have to replace this a with b and then save it so that uh, the next time we upload the file to the pdb epsi it reads it is chain a and chain b the chain a will be our uh, ligand protein and the chain b will be our receptor protein so this was a small chain uh, change that you have to make in the notepad plus plus manually So till here selected and then left arrow it is selected now make sure that you type it in uh, capital letter not small letter so capital letter B and as you can see now all of it is replaced with B so this is our B chain that is the ligand protein and the other one the receptor is now chain A now here you can see the difference the changes that we have done so now here you can see this is our uh, receptor and this is our uh, ligand it, the ligand is denoted as chain B and the receptor is chain A now save and let's, let's get back to the server so now here we will upload the file again choose file and the TLR to big C and now upload So now here you can see it, it says that two amino acid chains have been provided. Now it reads the file accurately. So now click here on the enter pass. That enter pass will show us uh, which residues of the amino the receptor and which residues of the active site are interacting in real time. So click on the enter pass. It will take a moment to provide the results. So we will wait for that. So now here you can see the enter pass. This is one we have provided two chains. So that's why it is showing us uh, one uh, line, one row in this uh, table. If there are uh, more than two residues or more than two chains, three chains, so it will show us multiple rows in here for each of the header if you want to know about that you can click on it and you can see what it means 
it shows the row number represent a link of the detail the in in shows the row number the b show and this shows the range this shows the items here you can see a i n h indicates the number of interfacing items in the corresponding structure in the structure one in the structure one two zero six atoms are interacting and these are the residues you can see the end in, it indicates the residues the interfacing residue so uh, 57 residues are interacting uh, in the docking and this shows the surface area in angston square so this shows that a total of uh, 14,220 angston squares of area is uh, interacting with each other in real time and this x column uh, shows it shows actually uh, three things the first one is that uh, it it shows the coordinate uh, the covalent linkages if this column have s in here if uh, it's s in here that means that uh, these are uh, sorry not sc if we have c uh, in this column here so that represents the covalent bond if we uh, if here we have f that mean fix then the fix means that uh, the ligand has, is in fixed position in the receptor and if it does not show anything for example it shows this sign that means that there are no special uh, properties identified now what you see here that uh, these color what these colors represent that i will show in a moment but uh, you have to remember this first chain and second chain the blue area shows the surface the cyan shows the surface of the second chain the red shows the interfacing residues of the first chain and the green shows the interfacing residues of the uh, second chain so now let's see uh, how this chain look like by clicking on this it will take you to make sure you have updated javascript and jsmol etc so that you can view it otherwise it will not display uh, the structure that you will see in a moment so here you can see here this blue this is the receptor and this is the uh, sorry this is the ligand the blue and this is the receptor the cyan color you can see this is the surface of the receptor and the blue shows the surface of the uh, ligand and as i told you in these colors here you can see the gray area the gray area here in the first chain shows the buried region uh, in the first chain and so here you can see these gray areas that you uh, see in the ligand these are the buried areas these cannot be accessed in docking the second is blue blue area as you can see these are the surface protein the surface residues sorry uh, of the first chain that is our ligand chain and then the red area you can see here the red area these are the ligand and residues that are interacting with the receptor so these are the residues that you can see here now coming to the second chain here you can see in the light gray you can see in the buried region the buried residues of the uh, receptor uh, uh, sorry the receptor protein and in the cyan color you can see the surface protein the surface residues sorry of the receptor protein and the green the green here that shows the residues of the receptor that are interacting with the uh, ligand so this is how it is visualized from here you can click on the spin so it will rotate by itself you can zoom it or uh, you can uh, select the uh, screen the percentage of the screen you can change the colors from here and you can uh, show it in any format and any form in that you want so i will click on the display so now you can see it here so now we will close this window and move okay so now you know about all this what it means so now click on details okay so now this shows the detail of the uh, uh, interface so here you can see the selection range this the this b if you remember that this b is our uh, ligand protein that is the vaccine the structure uh, the structure one or the b chain represents our uh, ligand protein the structure two and the or the chain a represent our uh, receptor protein now here you can see this is the number of atoms in the interface the number of atoms are 206 that makes it 7.0 percent 
of the ligand protein and the 219 in the interface 219 atoms that makes it 4.0 percent uh, of the receptor atoms that are in the interfacing residues that are actually interacting in the surface in the surface that you uh, i have shown you in the structure 1398 atoms are in the uh, surface and uh, 2244 that makes a 4.41.5 percent of the receptor atom that are present on the surface the total number of uh, atoms the interface and the surface that is 2945 that makes it 100 percent and 54 5408 that makes it 100 percent of the receptor atom now coming to the residues these were the atoms the interface atoms and the surface atom now the residues the interface residues and the surface residue so 57 residues of the ligand protein are interacting in real time that makes it 17.9 percent and 67 uh, residues of the receptor atom are interacting that makes it 12.7 percent and now the residues present on the surface is 291 in the ligand protein and 454 in the uh, receptor protein this is the solvent accessible area that can be accessed by a solvent this is an angstrom square so this